There is this wild story about a ginormous tree in the Amazon that's apparently got superpowers, like it can cure any disease and break any curse no matter how bad it is. Crazy, right? The petals from this tree are called Tears of the Moon, and they're like the ultimate medicine. Lots of people have tried to get their hands on them, but no one's managed to pull it off. There was this one man, Don Lope de Aguirre, who almost did it as he was determined to possess the tears' power. Instead, the jungle protected the tears, and his journey ended in failure. Turns out Aguirre didn't actually die in the encounter. He got found by these tree guardians, all banged up. And after being nursed by the guardians, he was like, Give me the arrowhead. It's the key to finding the tears of the moon. But they were like, no way, Jose, and that seriously ticked him off. He threw a fit and tried to fight them, but the jungle was too tough and he just vanished into the green. From this point, we are brought back to McGregor, telling this story to a bunch of science nerds who've got their hands on the mysterious arrowhead that Lily needs for the expedition she's about to go on. McGregor whips out this detailed map of the Amazon and points to a spot called Lagrimas de Cristal. That's where he thinks the tears of the moon are hiding. With the arrowhead, they've got a shot at finding them. But then Sir James crashes the party, refuses, and totally disses McGregor. Luckily, McGregor's got a plan and asks for a few more minutes to win over the scientists. Meanwhile, Lily is sneaking around the building like a ninja, following a map she drew on her hand while McGregor stalls Sir James and his fellows. Some man mistakes her for a secretary and sends her to the library. She manages to sneak in, but before she can open the door, another guy walks in. So what does she do? She slaps a chloroform-soaked rag on his face and knocks him out cold. Savage. Once she's in the room, she goes all Mission Impossible and disguises herself with clothes from a mannequin. Then she finds the box with the arrowhead and carefully opens it. At the same time, Prince Joachim and Sir James show up in the room also looking for the arrowhead. The prince is totally shocked when he sees the empty box, but then he spots Lily making a run for it and orders Sir James to catch her. Lily, being the clever girl she is, makes a break for it through the window and lands on a ladder. McGregor, who's just getting kicked out of the building, sees her and helps her hop on a bus. They make their getaway with the arrowhead in hand. Meanwhile, the prince is absolutely fuming and demands info on Lily from Sir James. He's so pissed that he starts lashing out at everyone around him. While Lily's gearing up for her Amazon adventure, McGregor's getting all worried about his sister's safety in the crazy jungle. Meanwhile, Captain Frank is taking his passengers on a wild ride through the Amazon. He's really hamming it up, telling them that every tree and every petal could be a deadly danger. And when the locals show up, it just cranks up the fear factor. The passengers are so freaked out, they're throwing extra cash at Frank to get them out of their ASAP. Turns out Frank hired the locals to scare the pants off the passengers and squeeze more money out of them. While all that's going down, Lily and McGregor roll into Porto Velho in Brazil, ready to take the next step of their journey on a steamboat deep into the Amazon. But what they don't know is that Prince Joachim has sent his goons to tail them on the down low and get the arrowhead back. When they get to Porto Velho, Frank says goodbye to his passengers, but then this guy Nilo swoops in and takes all Frank's earnings from the trip. He's making Frank pay off a debt and even takes the key to his boat. Nilo tells Frank he's got a deadline to pay up or he'll take the boat for good. Frank's determined to get the key back, so he tries to break into Nilo's box, but no luck. At the same time, Lily's on the hunt for a guide to the Amazon and runs into Frank. She mistakes him for Nilo and helps him open the box with this special tool, going all MacGyver on it. When Frank finds out Lily's plan to reach Lagrimas de Cristal, he warns her about the dangers. But she's so determined that he agrees to be her guide. For the right price, of course. Right then, the real Nilo shows up with McGregor, ready to negotiate. Suddenly, Frank spots the arrowhead around Lily's neck, and to prove he's the only one who can handle the jungle, he calls out his leopard. Things take a dramatic turn when the leopard pounces on Frank, but it turns out he's got the situation under control. 
he tosses a bait out the window and it blows everyone's minds. Lily's so impressed with Frank's skills that she decides to travel with him. And after that successful demo, Frank thanks Proxima for helping him win Lily over. So, Frank starts getting ready for the trip by tossing out McGregor's unnecessary luggage. Meanwhile, it turns out that Prince Joachim's men have captured Lily and locked her in a birdcage. But even in the face of adversity, Lily doesn't lose her spirit. She opens the cage with a piece of wire and takes down the guards to join Frank on the boat. Seeing her determination, Frank points her in the right direction. Instead of jumping into the water, Lily runs in the opposite direction, slides down a rope and skillfully jumps onto the boat. However, Prince Yoking suddenly pops out of nowhere with his submarine and starts blasting Frank's boat with bullets. The aim is to stall Frank and attain the arrowhead from Lily as that is the ultimate prize of getting the tears of the moon. When Frank realizes what's happening, he stokes the fire in the ship's engine room and speeds up to avoid a torpedo. Thanks to his efforts, they avoid the hit and the missile destroys Nicholas's port. After a dramatic escape, the crew loses sight of Nilo and the Prince and they enter the river. Even though McGregor initially dressed up as if he were going to a party, he can't stand the scorching heat of the jungle and is forced to lie down a bit. Meanwhile, unaware of the consequences, Lily spots some dolphins and despite Frank's warnings about nightmares, looks them in the eye. Enchanted by the beauty of the jungle, Lily records unforgettable moments. Frank, wanting to help, also tries to capture her on camera while the ship sails in the direction Lily indicated. Meanwhile, undeterred by the curse, Prince Joachim plans to reach the tears of the moon. In the evening, Frank prepares dinner with fresh piranhas, adding blood for flavor, which makes McGregor react with disgust. At night, Proxima sneaks into McGregor's cabin, interrupting his face cream ritual. While Frank and Lily are talking, terrified McGregor runs out of the cabin. When Lily finds out that the animal belongs to Frank, she's disappointed and angry because his heroic acts were just staged. At the same time, Prince Joachim finds Aguirre and revives him, lifting the jungle curse with river water. Later, the prince's detonation of the rocks causes the river to start flowing. After the curse has been lifted, Aguirre and his team are shown to have hideous states, with Aguirre having various snakes forming his body due to the curse. At the same time, Lily wakes from a terrifying dream where she saw snakes that seems to portray Aguirre's head unknowingly. Realizing the upcoming challenge, Frank informs Lily about the necessity of navigating through a dangerous section of the river. He secretly gives Proxima a sign to steal the arrowhead from Lily, but at that very moment, they unexpectedly reach the edge of a waterfall. As they battle the crazy river current, they start throwing up and Proxima, instead of following orders, accidentally gets drunk on spilled wine. In all the chaos, the boat stops on land and Frank and McGregor have a heart to heart about supporting their siblings. McGregor confesses that among all his relatives, only Lily has always been there for him. Meanwhile, Lily seizes the moment and searches Frank's cabin. She discovers maps showing the way to the Tears of the Moon. Frank admits that he's been searching for the legendary place for a long time but has given up. However, Lily convinces him that since she has the arrowhead, they have a real chance of success. Their conversation is interrupted by an unexpected attack by the natives which causes them to lose consciousness. After the surprising attack, the natives lead them to their chief. Frank communicates with them in their language and then informs the others that the chief demands they hand over the arrowhead. Lily refuses, then breaks free and attacks. However, the whole situation turns out to be another one of Frank's deceptions and the natives start laughing. Overwhelmed with emotion and angry at Frank's constant lies, Lily slaps him in front of everyone. A worried Frank asks McGregor if Lily will ever forgive him. McGregor is convinced that after so many lies, forgiveness won't come easily. Meanwhile, 
It turns out that a certain woman can read the language of the arrowhead, suggesting that the tree they are looking for is located where the moon hides. However, Lily, who is disappointed with Frank's behavior, pays him the last of the money and declares the end of their journey together. Meanwhile, McGregor accidentally paints his face with permanent dye, adding a comical touch to the tense situation. Then, Aguirre's presumed dead soldiers suddenly come back to life. Aguirre confronts Lily, demanding the arrowhead. Even though she gets tangled in branches, she manages to free herself by using fire against the undead soldiers. At the same time, Frank engages in a fight with Aguirre, but Aguirre strikes him with a sword. After a fierce battle, Frank falls into the river after retrieving the arrowhead from Aguirre's clutches and while a terrified Lily mourns his death. Meanwhile, the native woman urges her to use the arrowhead to start searching for the tears of the moon. Moreover, Aguirre's soldiers, wanting to free themselves from the curse, desire to regain their souls. So in a secret plan, Aguirre decides to use bees to find Lily and obtain the arrowhead. As Lily traverses the jungle while shouting McGregor's name, she unexpectedly comes across an injured Frank. Despite the sword wound, his non-bleeding body arouses her suspicions. Therefore, Frank decides to reveal a shocking secret. He's actually 400 years old and immortal due to a curse. He then asks her for help in removing the sword from his body, which she reluctantly does, placing her foot on his chest. At this moment, a shocked McGregor faints at the sight. After coming to Lily, thanks him for his unwavering loyalty and support. She also notices that McGregor has broken his leg, which further strengthens their bond. At the same time, Prince Joachim spots bees trying to get inside his submarine through the periscope. He decides to open the hatch and the bees following Aguirre's plan point out on the map where they should go. Discovering the bees' clues, Prince Joachim sets off in the indicated direction. Meanwhile, Lily's curiosity gets the better of her and she asks Frank about his immortality. He tells her that in his youth, when his father served in the army and died, he was adopted by Aguirre's father. So they were raised together and are like brothers to each other. However, everything changed when Aguirre's daughter fell seriously ill and there was no way to save her. So when Aguirre heard about the healing power of the Tears of the Moon, he decided to set out in search of the miraculous cure for his daughter. During the expedition, Many people from his crew died due to illness. In the end, they themselves were afflicted with the disease, but were saved by the tribal chief who used the tears of the moon. Although they regained their health, Aguirre was consumed by the desire to possess the arrowhead. When the chief refused, Aguirre attacked him. The fight ended with a curse placed by the chief on Aguirre, his army, and Frank condemning them to eternal life in the vicinity of the river, and Frank, who didn't support Aguirre in his insane plan, became his enemy. One day, he imprisoned Aguirre and his people in a cave, while he himself built a boat and founded a town. And now, he constantly asks himself who freed them. Meanwhile, the woman from the tribe who inhabits the island takes McGregor on a boat and heads towards the tree. Suddenly, Prince Joachim appears underneath the boat. McGregor lifts them up and arrests. He threatens him, saying that if he doesn't reveal his sister's location, many people will lose their lives. At the same time, Frank teaches Lily how to steer the boat, and she wonders what he would do if the curse were lifted. He tells her that after living so many years, he only desires peace. However, Lily would like him to start a new life by her side. Meanwhile, after receiving information from McGregor, the prince heads in their direction. Lily and Frank then reach the place indicated on the map as divinated by the native woman earlier on. Frank decides to dive and discovers a lever that needs to be pulled and aims to convince Lily to swim and try opening the lever. After a moment, despite her fear of water, Lily musters up the courage and jumps in. Unfortunately, pressing the stone next to the lever causes her to become trapped in a cage. 
In the critical situation, Frank gives her air so she can breathe. In a dramatic moment, Lily desperately tries to activate the lever. She ultimately succeeds, but Frank is attacked by piranhas. Just as Lily is on the verge of losing consciousness and the water level begins to drop, she is rescued by Frank. They are both happy that they have reached their destination and arrived at the place where the tears of the moon grow. Lily urges Frank to start a new life with her in London once he is freed from the curse. Unexpectedly, Prince Joachim's submarine emerges from the depths. The prince arrests them and demands they show him the way to the tree. When they reach the spot, the prince is disappointed to see that the tree is dead, but he hopes that Lily and Frank know how to revive it. Frank tries to negotiate with the prince and promises to give him clues in exchange for one petal that would lift the curse from him. The prince agrees. At the walls of the cave, it turns out that Frank cannot read the inscriptions, so Lily steps in to help, hoping that she too will receive a petal for herself. However, the prince notes that he will only give one petal, so they must decide who will receive it. Breaking the arrowhead into two parts, they solve the puzzle by placing the petal on the wall. The tree comes to life and blooms in wondrous colors. In an unexpected twist, Lily shoots at Frank, who simulates death and then defeats the prince's guards, rescuing McGregor. Lily desperately tries to obtain a petal because the moment the moon sets, the tree will begin to wither again. Ultimately, Lily only manages to get one petal. Even though the prince demands she hand it over, Lily throws it down to where Frank catches it. At the same time, Aguirre and his people begin to attack. Frank fights Aguirre and then, trying to escape by boat, leaves Proxima and McGregor behind. After a moment, McGregor finds Lily, but they are attacked again by the prince. McGregor finally grows a pair and starts wailing on the prince with his fists, but that's not even the best part. A second later, a rock falls on the prince and straight up ends his life. Then Aguirre demands the petal from Frank, but Frank shows an empty hand because he had already given it to McGregor. At that moment, the tree's branches entwine Frank, Aguirre and his people, turning them into stone statues. Meanwhile, Lily is totally losing it as she stares at Frank, who's now a literal stone-cold hottie. But then, she gets this idea to stick the moon tear right in Frank's mouth. The petal vanishes. And at first, it seems like nothing's happening. Lily's like, screw this, and starts to leave. Proxima doesn't want to leave him and stays behind. Suddenly, when she hears Proxima's roar, she returns, noticing that Frank has come back to life. They later go back to the dock after the expedition is over, and Frank hands over the boat to Nilo, as he wanted earlier on. Fast forward a bit and McGregor's back at the university, spilling the tea about his sister Lily. Turns out, she's some hotshot professor at Cambridge now, but she straight up said no thanks to joining the academic crew. He adds that the story of the tears of the moon turned out to be true. Additionally, the romance that was seen to be brewing between Frank and Lily during the expedition blossoms as she teaches Frank how to drive. It was expected, and indeed the ending was worth it all eventually. Boom, mic drop.